I'm sure you might have wondered, what if Jason never left the f***ing band? Hi friends, it's Andriy Vasilenko. It's been 17 years since uh, Jason's departure, but some fans still can't accept it. Even though a half of those fans were born after that. Anyway, we are not going to discuss what had, could have or should have happened, were the actions of Jason and the band right or wrong. We will focus on music, on the songs unwritten, the album unrecorded, the last link between Reload and Saint Anger. Actually, I don't think that uh, Saint Anger would exist with Jason in the band, uh, even if he stayed only for a few more years. So here's what happens in our parallel timeline. It's 1999. Metallica decides to start working on their new album right after SM, being inspired by the new experience. The two new songs, Minus Human and No Leaf Clover, turned out to be really great. Fans love them. Plus another one in progress, I Disappear, which is going to be a soundtrack for Mission Impossible 2 movie. Since the band desires to release the album as soon as better, they don't want to get distracted. Thus, the Napster thing either doesn't happen or it does, creating a huge buzz for the upcoming long-awaited LP. Jason wants to make music. When Metallica came to a point where they're taking months and months of time off from playing music, I have to still play music. And he finally gets it. He sticks to his traditional role in the band, creating bass lines and occasionally a really good riff. However, I doubt that anything from Echo Brain could have ended up in Metallica stuff. So how the album, let's call it uh, Not My Stain, could sound like? There are three actual songs by which we could estimate its general direction. Stylistically, those three songs match the trend Metallica has been following since the Black Album, writing simple yet heavy songs. I Disappear shows another edge the album could have. Alternative mix it with blues. How about new metal and other deviations we we met on Saint Anger, that could took place too, to some extent. The material Metallica wrote in Presidio before James's rehab and the main portion of Saint Anger was written, kind of hints on what was happening in their creative mindset around that time. You remember that echo chamber thing? Initially, it was approved by the band's manager and Santa Claus Cliff Bernstein, and later disapproved by Lars's father and metal Gandalf Thorberg Ulrich. I suppose it could become the album's intro. Some of Saint Anger ideas would definitely appear on Not My Stain. I believe that Jason heard some of those riffs, just like Cliff uh, witnessed the beginnings of Injustice for All. For instance, all Within My Hands originates from Load and Reload era. And later they performed uh, the original idea for the song in its acoustic version. Well, how about the production? Would our hypothetical album sound like Saint Anger? I don't think so. Maybe partially. You see, Saint Anger is what it is also because of Jason's departure and everything that it's triggered. In our imaginary universe that doesn't happen, so the band could more or less stick to the regular sound we hear on I Disappear. How about speed, solos and all the good stuff from 80s? Well, even Metallica's post-Justice albums had fast songs such as Fuel and The Struggle Within. Speed is present on Saint Anger, so why not? Solos. There is a distinct solo in No Leaf Clover. A half solo, half riff in I Disappear. And a few lead guitar squeaks in Minus Human. I tend to believe that'd be a little solid job for Kirk on the album. 
yet more than on St. Anger. Nevertheless, he would not remain unchallenged. One of the things that made Load and Reload uh, beautiful was differentiated rhythm guitar parts. Hatfield plays uh, one variation in the left channel and Hammett does something slightly different in the right channel. So they most likely keep the approach on Not My Stain. Judging from all said above, Metallica's 8th album with Jason Newsted, released in late 2000-2001, could be something special and modern sounding, yet keeping the recognizable touch of Metallica. Well, this description matches all their albums. Anyway, what are your thoughts? What songs could Metallica write for this record? Remember that's uh, all just a fun speculation and you should take it easy. Thanks for watching, it's Andriy Vasilenko. Be in metal. Whoa, this is heavy.